This is MathGuy.com. My name is Mark Karadimos, and today we're going to take a look at how to solve exponential equations using logarithms. All right, well, first of all, what's an exponential equation? Uh, let's talk about it. Uh, you know, there are really some easy exponential equations to solve. Uh, like, for instance, let's say we had 2 to some unknown power is equal to 8. Uh, you know, you don't need any special... Uh, you know, use of logarithms to solve this problem because you can imagine what this power has to be to make this equation work. Uh, we all know that 2 times 2 times 2, or in other words, 2 to the third power, is equal to 8. So we already know that x has got to be equal to 3. So, you know, there are exponential equations that are extremely easy to solve, not requiring us to do any big math. Like, uh, even if we had a problem like 3 to the t minus 1, I know sometimes these problems look really fancy, uh, is equal to 9. Uh, you know, this is again an easy problem to do because uh, we already know what this power has to be, in other words, to, to make this equation work. We all know that 3 squared, or in other words, 3 times 3, 3 squared has got to be equal to 9. Alright, so that would mean that that t minus 1 has got to be equal to 2, right? That's all got to be a square. And then you could add 1 to both sides, and then you could see that your answer for t has got to be equal to 3. So, you know, these are easy problems, and uh, there's no special technique uh, necessary. You just use a little brain power, know a little something about exponents. Now, there are problems that you have to use special uh, relationships like uh, let's take this one I cooked this problem up a little bit earlier and what makes this problem hard is that 4 raised to an integer power in other words a nice number is not ever going to be this uh, value 20 so we know that like for instance 4 squared is equal to 16 4 squared is equal to 16 you know that's too low 16 is not what we're supposed to get. We're supposed to get 20, right? We know that 4 cubed, 4 times 4 times 4, is equal to 64. Now, that's way too high. We're supposed to get 20 here, right? So I know that C plus 1 has got to be somewhere, you know, C plus 1 is, is greater than 2 but less than 3. So, you know, I, I can approximate, but that's not good enough. I want the exact answer. All right, so what we do in this case, when we are looking for this answer that we can't do mentally, and all we're getting is an approximation with uh, some reasoning is we take the log of both sides. Now, when you just take the log of both sides, that's really a common log. Now, I know that I'm not writing the base. Uh, you know as well as I know, if you know, well, if you know anything about logarithms, that I'm not putting the base there, right? I mean, y you can. You can put in any base you want as long as you're consistent on both sides. Uh, but if you don't write the base... Uh, it turns out that that's base 10. So this is the common log. It's log base 10, um, and then here you have this value. So this is log base 10 of 20. But if it's log base 10, we don't have to write the base. That's how that works. All right, so now that we've understood why, or well, we don't understand why I'm taking log, but I've taken log of both sides. Now the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to use a property of logarithms. There's a property that says that you could take the power and you could move the power in front if you're taking the log of something. So that exponent can be moved straight out in front. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the C plus 1 out in front. And I got log base 10 of 4, or log base 4, or log of 4, that is. Okay. So I move the exponent in front. All right, next thing I'm going to do, since this is multiplication, right, it's c plus 1 times the log of 4. The way to get rid of that log of 4 is to divide both sides by log of 4. So I divide this side by log of 4. Okay, so, uh, you know, the reason of doing that, the reason to do that was to cancel the log of 4 of both sides. All right, so in doing that, the only thing left on the left side is the C plus 1. Here on the right side, I'm getting quite a mess. I'm getting this log of 20. I'm getting the log of 4 as the denominator. So I get this 
weird looking fraction. All right, now next thing I have to do is get the C alone, and I'm almost done with getting C alone. I just have to subtract one from both sides, and I will have C alone. So I can subtract one there, and I can subtract one there. Um, I guess I could show that since I'm using blue. So I could subtract one here, and I could subtract one there. All right, now once I do that subtraction, I need a little bit more space. I'm going to write it up here. I get C equals log base 20 over log base 4 and then I'm subtracting 1 from all that. So I did plug this earlier into the calculator to uh, see what this is equal to and um, you know I, I do use uh, at times a TI Inspire calculator and uh, that's what I do. I, I'm kind of showing you what the screen looks like once I, I did plug that in. Oop, let me put it right there. So I plugged it in, oh, let me plug it in to show you that this is exactly what our answer was. And when I plug this into the calculator, it automatically entered in the base tens. I didn't even do that, but it entered them in, and you could do that if you really want to. But uh, when I hit you know, the uh, equal sign, or enter, it gave me this answer, which I went around to the nearest hundredth. So it's 1.16. So that's approximately 1.16. And I'm going to get this off the screen because it's, it's blocking me from all the work. But I wanted you to see that. Okay, so it's 1.16. So that's approximately what the answer is going to be. So that's what I'm going to write. C is approximately 1.16 to the nearest hundredth. And there you go. We have our answer. And that's how you do these types of problems. Um, just be careful how you enter that into the calculator. Some of those old calculators are hard to calculate the, this value. But that's why I like these, the new calculators. Uh, what you see is what you get. You plug it in exactly the way it is, and you get the, ex the approximate answer that we're supposed to get. All right, so go back to mathguide.com, check out our uh, lesson, check out our interactive quizzes and other videos. Take care.